Hello, combat sports fans, and welcome to the Fight Network Studios. I am your host, John Ramdeen, and this is Fight News Now Extra. In the news today, the UFC lightweight champion gets a date for his first title defense. Hapa collides with the war master at UFC 168, and a WEC veteran drops to the flyweight division and becomes an instant contender. That's what's going on in the world of mixed martial arts. Now it's time to find out some of the details. In a sensational lightweight matchup, newly crowned champion Anthony Pettis battles American Kickboxing Academy standout Josh Thompson on December 14th in Sacramento, California at UFC on Fox 9. The Milwaukee native was originally set to take on Canadian TJ Grant, but injury has forced the Fit Plus fighter to the sidelines. Thompson is coming off an impressive return to the UFC where he dismantled Nathan Diaz. In a spectacular heavyweight tilt, Josh Barnett is scheduled to battle the massive Travis Brown when the two meet at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada at UFC 168 on December 28th at the year-end show. 31-year-old Hawaiian is 15-1-1 in his mixed martial arts career and is coming off back-to-back -back stoppage victories over Gabriel Gonzaga and Alistair Overeem, while Barnett is looking for his third win in a row. And last but certainly not least, former Boise State University wrestler Scott Jorgensen has decided to leave the Bantamweight division and drop to 125 pounds. The former Pac-10 champion is 1-3 in his past four, with losses coming tough to some of the division's best, including Uriah Faber, Eddie Wineland and Bantamweight King Hennon Burrell. The 31-year-old's first opponent will be top-ranked Ian McCall as the two face off at UFC on Fox 9 in December. Joined by my friend and partner in crime, Mr. Robin Black and Scott Jorgensen, I think making a perfect decision to drop down to 125 pounds. And I think he really does become a title challenger. I mean, this guy is so skilled, he's fast, and I think he's still relevant and at 125 pounds. He's gonna be an absolute monster. Ian McCall has his hands full. Yeah, it's a great fight. But first off, man, it is good to have you back. What good is Oates without Hall, man? He's just a short guy with terrible hair who plays his bass too high. Yeah, I was useless without you, man. It's good to have you back. But I agree, Jorgensen is an instant contender at 125 pounds. Absolute badass, fantastic wrestling, now really likes to get in there and, and fight a hard-nosed fight. He fights very much like Ian McCall. This is a great first test for him, but he is an instant contender. These two guys are going to go at it. It's a spectacular matchup. There's so many good ones I agree 100%. Up. We go from the smallest division in the UFC to the largest division. The war master, Josh Barnett, has a tough test ahead of him in the form of Travis Brown. Uh, Brown, an absolute monster. And a lot of people believe that, uh, you know, a victory or two that he could be challenging for the UFC heavyweight championship of the world. Uh, what does Barnett need to do to defeat the uh, six foot seven uh, Brown? Oh man, which guy do you want to be in this yeah. fight? Like, I don't want to be either of these guys. This is a terrible matchup for both guys in that they're fighting a demon in front of them. The one thing Brown is suddenly figuring out with this fight matchup coming up, he is figuring out exactly what it means to be a heavyweight in the UFC. He just came off a fight where he took a beating yes. and had to survive it to come back and win, which is so impressive and we love seeing that. He's going to have to do that again with Barnett. For Barnett to win this, he's going to be super aggressive. He likes to go in and will you to lose. Just put his chin down, take more punishment than, than you you are willing to or able to and put the fight away. Brown needs to almost fight the exact same fight again. Take a whole bunch, weather the storm and put this guy away. Killer, killer fight. Barnett, one of the most mentally focused and prepared fighters in all of mixed martial arts, really doesn't give a rat's ass what anybody thinks about him, has one job to do and that is to go in there and hurt his opponents and we've seen it time and time again. Uh, for Travis Brown, we talk about his last fight against Alistair Overeem where he was down but he certainly was not out, was able to persevere and I think that shows one of his biggest strengths that you know what when former K1 champion is smashing you in the side of the head you are on the ground and people are ready to count you out and he somehow makes his way back to his feet and ends up knocking uh, over him out with that kick to the face. I mean, Travis Brown proved in that fight uh, what type of a warrior he really is. Yeah, this is when the immovable object meets a mean son of a bitch. You know what I mean? It's like, you cannot, Brown just showed he can't be finished, but Barnett wills you to be finished. He wills it, and that's how this fight's going to go down. The, the stronger man, the mentally tougher man's going to win this. That's just the way Barnett likes it. I think a lot of people would expect that uh, the grappling is going to be a factor as Barnett, uh, very unorthodox with his takedowns. Uh, he knows how to put guys down to the ground. Uh, the guys that he hasn't been able to are guys like Daniel Cormier, who are just some of the best grapplers or wrestlers in mixed martial arts. Is he going to be able to get Travis D Brown down to the ground, or is Brown, I mean, the guy works with Greg Jackson, yeah. 
master strategist, so he's going to know how to prevent the takedown. But just knowing, is that enough? Yeah, I don't know, man. When Barnett, same thing, man. The thing is, he's just so driven. There's a similarity between him and Ronda Rousey, and I, I don't know if he'd like hearing that, and I don't mean it that way. But that when Coached they're like, by uh, Judo Jean LaBelle, I'm sure he does not <laughs> care. Yeah, that's very true. Just like that rabid dog who gets what they want. And when Barnett wants to take you down, he takes you down. He, this is a great fight, man. He, he, he wills himself to win fights against a guy who's just proven that's, that's very hard to do to him. It's a good one. Uh, Anthony Pettis taking on Josh Thompson live on Fox on free TV. What an outstanding matchup. But are you surprised that Thompson's the man that gets the first crack? And when you consider the fact that uh, Gilbert Melendez looks so good against Ben Henderson, and a lot of people believe that he won that fight, I think it would have been a great matchup. Yeah. Pettis versus obviously Melendez, but I think this fight is more fan friendly yeah. as Thompson likes to stand and trade, a good wrestler, great story, works with the UFC, heavyweight champion and all the uh, all the top guys at American Kickboxing Academy. Obviously you like this fight, but great. you're also picking Anthony Pettis, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, he right now feels like he may establish himself as one of these John Jones type greats. He may, but he's against a guy who uh, you saw what he did to Nate Diaz, yeah. man. Nobody does, Nobody that, does that, that to Nate Diaz. Nobody. Nobody does that to a Diaz. No one does that to Shelly Diaz. I don't care. I don't care who you are. And uh, he did that to Diaz. He's got unbelievable skills. He's been at it for a very long time. And in that Diaz fight, he showed an amazing understanding of angles and just confused Diaz with his entry angles against Pettis. These two guys are, are fighting very similar these days. It's going to be really cool. Uh, Thompson, we know because the American Kickboxing Academy, in addition to their striking, are, I think, underrated wrestlers. When you think about AKA, of course, Cain Velasquez and Daniel Cormier, two of the best in the heavyweight division. And Thompson, uh, an app wrestler himself, do you expect him to try to force the fight down to the ground? They have trained together in jiu-jitsu, these two guys, in the past. So they have a sense of what each other is capable of. And the one who thinks they've got an advantage might look to take it there. Don't go anywhere. More Fight News Now Extra continues.